Hey guys, how are you? My name is Becky Fiddler, here to give you another muscle functions video of the superficial muscles. Today I'll be going over the infraspinatus. I'll go over the origin, the insertion, the uh, functions of it, the exercises. Uh, I can also show you where the muscle is on my body as well. So you kind of have an idea whenever you look in the mirror, oh, okay, that is that particular muscle. Okay, so to start off, uh, the origin of the infraspinatus muscle is actually inferior to the spine of the scapula, which is posteriorly on the scapula. Okay, so it covers most of the scapula on the back side of it, and it connects into, uh, it originates into what we call the infraspinosis fossa, which is basically a slightly concave area where the muscle will lie into. So it's kind of like its own little um, hole, I guess you could say, but it's not quite a hole, it's just a groove. Um, and then the infraspinatus muscle will insert posteriorly on the humerus on its greater tubercle. So the greater tubercle of the humerus is the ball part of the ball and socket joint. So the very top, there will be kind of like a ball-shaped um, piece of bone that will be like a head and uh, on the back is where that infraspinatus muscle attaches to or inserts to. Okay so I'm going to show you where it is on my body. So we can see the deltoid comes up and then the trapezius muscle comes up and you can see that they kind of make a triangular area. Well, In that triangular area is where the infraspinatus muscle is. So if I externally rotate my arm that makes the infraspinatus muscle pop out. Okay, so we see the deltoid muscle and we see the trapezius muscle. Okay, and right here is that infraspinatus muscle. As you can see mine is uh, sticks out pretty good so it's pretty well developed. Um, so now you know where the origin, the insertion is, and whereabouts visually if you were to look at it in your own personal mirror where that muscle is. Okay, so now let's go over the functions of that muscle. The functions of the inspiratus muscle, we have extension of the arm, we have horizontal abduction, okay, we also have diagonal abduction, okay. So that looks like this for diagonal abduction. It looks like this for extension, horizontal abduction. And then again, we also have external rotation, which is basically if your thumb was facing towards, I have it facing towards the camera, um, you just rotate your whole arm to where you have a supinated hand that is externally rotating it. Um, or you can think of it as rotating it away from your body. Okay? So there are the functions. Now some exercises for you. You can do uh, reverse flies, which would be the horizontal abduction. You can also do face pulls. Okay, that is also horizontal abduction. You can do V's. Okay? And that will be diagonal abduction. You can do them either way. Okay, you can also do extensions by holding a dumbbell or you can do cables, whichever you prefer. Um, you could also, for external rotation, um, you can lay on your side and you can easily just externally rotate with a dumbbell. Okay, so now that I've given you the origin, the insertion, functions, exercises, and pointed out to you where about the infant spinatus muscle is. I hope that you can apply this information to your workouts. I hope you've learned something. If not, uh, just wait for the next video I'll have up to. Maybe you'll learn something there. Uh, so, happy training you guys. Hope you learned something. Thanks.